I missed that first one. No, actually I killed him. He ran over here and died. The was Yeah, I saw one ran away. I thought I missed him, but there was another one. I mean, I think I saw one run this way and another one ran that way. So three were in one spot. Try to listen to where they scratch the leaves. Big squirrel too. Male. Big nut. Say big nut. Shammy. Big nut. I'm going back to this one spot to uh, look for a buck that I shot on Saturday during the uh, Fort Chaffee WMA permit hunt that they attract him for 1300 yards and I came up on two puddle of blood and then I lost blood after that a fellow hunter told me that he saw my buck bed it down and then it stood up and then just crashed away into the bushes so I'm just gonna head down there and look around a little bit more because that day I bumped into two different hunters so I don't want to mess up their hunt. And today the, the area opens up again so I'm just gonna get a look around to see if I can find the deer. Hey. One more square that way. First, I thought I missed the second one, but when I walk up next to the tree, there he is. <laughs> two for two, not bad. And I saw a squirrel run away. I thought this was this one, but it's a different squirrel. Man, it's just many of them.
Where is it? Is it the same one that I shot? Maybe it fell into this tree hollow. Huh. There's blood right there. He got away. <laughs> I wounded him though. Look further down. Look, this is the, the blood trail that I marked from my deer the other day. See the napkin piece down here. You can see all the napkin piece I put right there, right there, all the way over there. Yeah, I tried that that deer for 1300 yards, so it's going to be along this trail right here, so that's where I'm heading. It's crazy how far they went, even after being shot. I shot him, but it's left here. See, one more mark, paper mark that I put right there. Right here too. He went down close to uh, the creek and bedded down in this huge uh, dead core tree. Then two put of blood right there. And after that, I couldn't find anything else. Let me turn back on the map that I marked that day to see where did they go I think I stopped the napkins about right there so after that I just followed the blood the blood was pretty good you know the first 200 yards because he ran really fast so the first 200 yards not a lot of blood but after that I guess he slowed down he was hurting so he slowed down and walked slowly I have good blood all the way to 1300 yards to that uh, two puddle of blood that he bedded down. So I'm gonna head that way and then walk along the creek. And I heard one of the uh, fellow hunters told me that he jumped some of the ditches down there, but he, he didn't cross the creek. So I'm gonna walk along the creek and 
see if I can find him. I hear him crying. Right here, right here. Is that him? Let me see. Let me zoom in. Yeah. What the heck? Don't tell me he's still alive. He's crazy squirrel. Just one more over there. Yep. He tried to get away, huh? He was over there with the one I killed previously. And then he ran into this uh, tree hollow right here, but came back out. His mistake. So far, got four of them, and I still have about two more hours to hunt but well well I'm still looking for my deer too but I'm heading to that last spot that I lost him at another one right here right under the base of that tree This time my gun didn't eject the spent cell shell so and then I had to do it in a hurry. I don't know if I missed him. Let's see if I have any blood. the shot hit right there huh. and he ran away at least injure him somehow I don't see no blood though 
I guess no another shot yet came then. Get away. There's one on this tree right here. I ran out. I ran out. Sure, I didn't know. He's he dead already. Oh, still hang on to it. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Yeah. He was about to die anyway, but when I do it quickly. there so probably into the tree hollow um, yeah he's dead I think over there is the last spot that I saw blood of the deer that's a bird, that's not a squirrel, I thought that was a squirrel. Tiny little birds. 
Yeah, this spot right here, a whole bunch of squirrels. On Saturday, I was walking around and they were just all over the place. You know, they're not afraid of people. <laughs> One crying over there too. But I will run into any of them, you know, anytime. Right here, if I walk around, I think I saw one over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see a bushy tail over there. And that tree right there. Yeah. Right here. I'll try to get closer. Took two shots to finish him up. <laughs> Gray squirrel everywhere. The last place that I tracked my buck it was right here. He bedded down right here. Right right there. And then he bedded down one more time right there. And one of the uh, one of the fellow hunters he said that he saw the deer bedded down and he had a scope on the deer too so he knew that the deer was shot so he didn't want to shoot it again but somehow the deer stood up and ran away through those uh, ditches over there so I'm gonna uh, head back down that way and look for it I were looking all around right over here, couldn't find him, and then I crossed the creek to walk back to my spot because I don't want to go back to the old path that I came in, so it's, I would bump into the same fellow hunters again. So I walked back this way and somehow I bumped into a different hunter. So then after that, I just I knew that I passed the first hunter, so I make a look back to on this bank of the creek and then walk back to my spot. But I didn't want to, you know, like get a dog in or something and then, you know, ruin 
everyone else hunt because I bumped into two different people that day. So, and I know that if I would walk down further, I would bump into a couple more hunters. So, try my, uh, I might try to look for it from, from here, go a couple hundred yards and see. But dang, that squirrel is tempting me. I'm gonna go get him. Keep barking like that. I'm gonna go get him. I see him. See him on the tree already. Uh, what tree? What tree? What tree? Yeah, somewhere right there. Right? It's a little bit hard to see. Uh, somewhere right here. I think right there. The dots right there. Keep barking. I'm gonna come and get you. Yeah, can't shoot him from here. Keep barking. Keep barking. He went suicidal. Jump right down. You know what that is. Can you see it? Look at that. Ain't they pretty? It's about 12.30. And I plan to get out of here. One o'clock, go home and get ready for work. So I just hunt my way back to the truck, I guess. I've been looking for a little bit and couldn't find the deer that I shot on Saturday to this Monday. So I'm gonna walk my way back now to the truck and uh, square hunt on the way back.